Hallelujah. I want to read a verse of scripture right now, brother. And if y'all will, just hang out with me right here, okay? I, listen, I, I didn't come in this morning with a menu. <laughs> I come in this morning with a, with a mind to worship. Amen? And give God some glory. But listen, you'd you be surprised what God's got in plan before we ever show up. Amen? I want to read Revelation. I was going to preach out of this, but I'm going to read this to you in Revelation chapter 21. Amen? I was going to preach this uh, in the scripture today. The Bible says, And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. And the first heaven and the first he uh, earth was passed away. And there was no and, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared a, as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man. And he dwelleth with him, with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. Verse number four says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, no more sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things have passed away. Amen. I was going to preach this morning on the beauty of brokenness. Amen. The beauty of brokenness. Now, there's none of us this morning loves to be broken. <laughs> and none of us this morning uh, looks in the middle of the time that we're broken and sees where it's pretty. Amen. But boy, after you're broken and things get mended, <laughs> you become beautiful in the sight of God. How many knows in every single person in the Word of God, they was broken somewhere? Amen? Somewhere they was broken. And I was thinking, and I wrote a lot of them down this morning, and I, I, I'm not going to get into all. I feel like God don't want me to get into all of the stuff that I, I had wrote down or which way I'm going, but I'm going to say all this uh, to help somebody. Amen? Uh, Noah was a drunk. Amen? But God used him. Did he not? <laughs> Amen? Abraham was a liar because he lied about his uh, wife being his sister, but God used him, did he not? Understand, see, all these was broken, but in the middle of the brokenness, when they come and was healed, my friend God used them in a pretty picture. Anybody ever watched on TV uh, of this thing, uh, the, where they go in, they buy these houses and remodel them, and they turn, bring them back and, and bring them to life? Well, boy, when they get them and they look at them, they look rough, don't they? But when they're broken and they were put together, boy, they look, I'm talking about so amazing. See, that's the way God looks at me and you this morning. When we get broken in the brokenness as we come back, God says, you are so beautiful. Amen. And so I thank God for that. But as I was studying in this, in the next verse of chapter in, in 21 and verse 5 says this, and he that sat up on the throne, who is that? That's Jesus, ain't it? Amen. It said he, that's God. Amen. It said he that sat up on the throne said, behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, write, for these words are true and faithful. Hallelujah. Listen to me. I don't care what the devil tells you. It's true. Amen. God said he makes everything new. I'm telling you, in the middle of a broken mess, in the middle of a, of a turmoil, in the middle of things, God makes it new. Amen. I thought about this. I seen this on, uh, uh, that somebody had wrote one time talking about crayons. They said when a crayon is broken, it still colors. <laughs> Hallelujah. Boy, that's powerful, ain't it? Amen. When a broken, a crayon is broken, it still colors. I'm telling you, every one of, there's not a person sitting in here today that has not been broken. Amen. But I'm telling you, you still color. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? You ought to praise the Lord. I still color. Amen. I, I still got my color to me. Hallelujah. I'm still coloring and, and I'm still doing the works of the Lord. I, and you know what? I, I look better now than I used to because I've been broken. Amen. I, I'm telling you before I got broken, I'm looking at your neighbor and say, yes, I've been broken. I, I've been broken, but God's still using me. I, I'm still coloring. Come on, somebody. I'm still still color. I, I still got a good color. I, I, do you hear what I'm telling you this morning? I, I go thinking about how uh, down through the Bible you had Moses. He was broken. I, are you hearing me this morning? I, uh, Moses uh, uh, killed an Egyptian. He was a murderer. But God sent him over to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt. Are y'all hearing what I'm telling you? I, I listen to me. Rahab. Anybody remember Rahab? I, Rahab was a harlot. I, uh, she was a prostitute. I, but let me tell you, Jesus come out of the light the lineage of Rahab. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? I understand she was broken, but God still put pieces together. And look what he brung out of that. Hey, she might have been broken, but she's still coloring. Hey. 
you hear what I'm saying to you? Hey, somebody messed up in here this morning, and you're broken. But let me tell you, you're still colored. I started to bring a box of crayons this morning and just break them up and pass them out and have you to still color with a pill. I'm beautiful in the Lord's side because the brokenness has made me beautiful. Hallelujah. And it's making you beauty. And look now what you are and what you can be this morning. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? I think about many over there, the prodigal son, how he was broken. He wasted an inheritance. How many of us has wasted the things God give us? Hallelujah. But I'm going to tell you one day when we got down the old, in an old hog pen and messed up and said, but if I could just go back to my father's house, I'd go back to his house. And I know he'd make me whole. I know he'd make me, hey, I might be broken, but he'll color with me again. And the Bible said when he seen his son coming afar off, he made him welcome and run to him with his arms open and put a robe on him. Hey, you might be broken, but I'm going to tell you, he'll still color. <laughs> y'all glad of that this morning? Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? I know y'all standing up, but I am too. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. I just want to tell you, see, I don't know how to uh, script this kind of stuff, but I know God's God in the house, and God's blessing somebody, and somebody showed up this morning, and broken and bent up, tore up, and thinking I'm just no good no more. Every single one in the Bible I read about was broken, but they still coloring. God still pinned them down in the book. He still pinned them down in the book. Mary Magdalene had several devils. Seven devils had been cast out of her. But my friend, she was broken. But the Bible says she would come and anointed Jesus' feet. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Boy, there's something about that. Amen. See, there's three kinds of brokenness. There's one kind of, of circumstance brokenness. Otherwise, sometimes circumstance. I want to mess you up or break you. And sometimes that through our uh, through our our, our choices of sin will break us uh, and brokenness. Amen. Uh, and there's a brokenness that we can share the burdens of others. Amen. Uh, I'm telling you right now, somewhere along the way, every single person in this church uh, is walking through a broken place in your life. Uh, but I come to tell you, uh, you're still coloring. Uh, I just come to encourage you this morning. Uh, I come to let you know you ain't a nobody. You are somebody. Uh, because God's got a use for you. You say, preach I'm, I'm coloring, but my color is real short. Don't matter. Pick up the other end of it. Are you hearing what I said? I said, pick up the other end. It'll color too. Do y'all know colors? A color from both ends. Hey, when one side don't look good, I just turn it over. God said, He'll use you from that side. Are you hearing me? Oh, David was sitting over there, and David had an affair with Bathsheba, and he sent Nathan along the way. He said, There was a man that had a little lamb. Uh, and when he did, he took it from him. And he told him, he said, son, he said, uh, did, did he cause he took everything he had away. But David said, you tell me who that man is, and I'll go and I'll punish him. He said, you're the man. Hey, you're the man. Well, the Bible said David got broken right then and wrote the psalm of three, uh, the 51 psalm. And in that 51 psalm, he said, Lord, he said, that take the hyssop and put it over me. Do y'all know what the hyssop goes back to? It's an it's a, it's a identification of Jesus Christ. Listen to me. They took the hyssop and they dipped it in the blood. And he said he striked it over the doorpost. That word strike means it's a strike. It's like they struck Jesus. Y'all hear me? I'm telling you the body of Jesus. The stripes were striped on him. But the blood was striped thrown across all of us so God could use a broken one. Praise the Lord. Are y'all hearing me? I'm saying this morning, you say, preacher, you just don't know how broken I am. And you may be. I'm going to tell you, make me go back in and get somebody bring me a box of colors in here. I don't care how many pieces they get broken. How many of you ever took your finger and had a piece of broken crayon, took your finger and put it on the end of it and just smeared it on the paper and it's still colored? Boy, that's something simple. It's a broken crayon, but it still colors. <laughs> See, God loves the beauty of the broken ones. <laughs> 
You know, understand? You say, well, preacher, you ain't been where I've been. No, I hadn't, but you ain't been where I've been. You understanding this morning? See, Peter denied Christ three times. He was broken. Walked away from the Lord. The Bible said, followed him afar off. The Bible said he told his disciples, he said, you go tell my disciples and Peter to come here. How to work for you. Amen. He told Peter, he said, Peter, Satan desires to have you and going to sift you as wheat. That's right before he does the denied him. And when he denied him, Peter was broken. Amen. And he come back and the Bible said, but when you return, strengthen the brethren. Amen. Boy, he got strong in the Lord and he picked up the other broken piece of that crayon and he went to color. Now you hearing me. I'm talking about he preached over there in the book of Acts and over 3,000 got saved. And then he right back and preached over again and over 5,000 got saved. Are y'all hearing me? I'm telling you, brokenness don't matter. Brokenness did become pretty. Are y'all understanding what I'm trying to tell you? Because I know everybody in the house has been broken somewhere along the way. And us brokenness, God is using you. In the sight of God, you're beautiful this morning. And because we're broken up and we broke down, the devil wants to tell you there's no use for you. But the Bible's full of broken people. And God said, I ain't through with you yet. I'm not through with you yet. I can mend you. I can help you. Paul persecuted the church, pulled out Christians, beat them, sent them out to have them killed. But one day, God chose to send him over there and told him, he said, son, he put blinders on him. He said, I want you to go over there to Cornelius' house. And when you get over there, the blinders should be tucked off. Are y'all hearing me? I tell you, when, he come, when, it, when the broken became to see, he was a different person. A beautiful person in Christ. So y'all understanding? Listen to me. The Bible said in Corinthians, the Bible talks about this in 1 Corinthians chapter number 1 and verse 27. It said, but God has chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. Amen. And God has chosen the weak things of the world to confound them which are, uh, are mighty. Amen. I'm telling you, God's got a place for you. God's got a place for you. You might be broken. You may be toe up. Let me tell you what God can do for you. He can fix you. I'm going to read this to you over in, over in uh, Psalms 51. Y'all need to sit down. You can. I, don't, I won't hold that against you. <laughs> Just for a minute. The Bible said in Psalms 51 verse 7, it says, Purge me with, I, with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. <laughs> He said in verse 8, make me to hear joy and gladness. See, David had been broken, had been broken. He said, make me uh, to, to hear joy and gladness that, that, uh, that my bones, this, which has been broken, may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Verse number 10 says, create in me a cleansed heart. Can anybody just say that, Lord? It said, oh God, renew a right spirit within me. Amen. Boy, I'm telling you, when we do that, we look back and we see that David was a man after God's own heart. Amen. He had been broken. He had messed up. He had sinned. He had been, I'm talking about, done about his worst as we think you could do. Amen. But boy, oh God, used that man. Did he not use him? I'm telling you, God used him in a mighty, mighty way. Praise the Lord. I'm telling you, he taught, he, he fought, he, he was, a, a, one, the Bible said he was one of the best shepherds that ever was. Amen. I'm just uh, being honest with you. And he was broken while he was doing it. But God still using him. Praise God. Oh, he had a messed up, broken color, but he was still coloring. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He was still doing it. And I thank God for that. Praise the Lord. Because he's so good. The Bible said in verse number, in verse number 11, and cast, uh, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Amen. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation um, and upon me, uh, he said, with uh, a free spirit. Amen. And when he said, restore upon me thy salvation, my friend, listen to me. David wasn't talking about saving me again, um, but he said, I need the joy of the Lord. Amen. I'm going to come to tell you what brokenness will do to you this morning. Um, brokenness will try to steal your joy. Um, because in the middle of your brokenness, uh, you can't see the beauty. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? I, I said in the middle of your brokenness, you can't see the beauty. Um, and in the middle of that brokenness, um, uh, Satan tries to use that um, and tell you that, that God ain't, ain't God ain't uh, loving you no more. Um, uh, God's through with you. Um, all the troubles you have. Uh, and he's telling you.
you all the lies he can tell you, but I come to tell you, but my friend, that God still loves you. That God still wants you. Even though it's what we look at and can't see the beauty. And David says, I want you to Lord, restore thy salvation. But thou salvation, show me, Lord, the mercies of God. But show me the strongness that you have. But Lord, that where the enemy is pulling me back or trying to destroy me. But show me thy salvation, Lord. How you can still bring me out. You can still deliver me. Ain't you glad of that this morning, church? I'm glad God still uses the broken this morning. He still uses the broken. Bible goes on and say, and I'm going on and I'm going to finish. The Bible said in, in verse number 13, it says, Then it said, Will I teach transgression? Uh, 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 it says, Thy ways uh, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness. Amen. Oh God. It said, Through God of my, though God my salvation and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. Listen to this in verse 15. He said, Oh Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall show forth thy praise. <laughs> Amen. So you here this morning, you're thinking, oh, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I'm just tore up and I'm broken and I'm just messed up. Oh, God said, yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can. Again, I go back to that crayon, pick it up, and start coloring again. Amen. See, God wants you to think it's over. It ain't over. God just now got you where he can really show the, see the world shine through you. God can't use folks that don't understand what it is to be broken. That's why in the Word of God, God used all folks that had been broken in some way, some shape, some form. God used them. When we realize and think God can't, God can. Hey, somebody here this morning is in a place in your life, you're thinking, I, God can never use me again. Yes, God can. Listen, as long as you're in the potter's hands, he never throws the clay away. You're broken, but he just holds you again and keeps you on the potter's wheel, and he makes you anew. Ain't you glad? I'm glad he didn't throw the clay away. I'm glad he didn't. I'm glad I can take that hyssop. And he can dip that hyssop. You know what? The first time we hear of hyssop in the Word of God was when over there that the Egyptians and the Egypt had come in against God's people. And God had told them, he said, I want you to take it. I want you to kill you the right lamb just for your house. I want you to take and I want you to eat the lamb. Don't let none go to waste. But whatever's lasting, don't let it go overnight. Go ahead and burn it. But he said, I want you to take the blood of that lamb I want you to get you a hyssop. I want you to just dip that hyssop in that blood. I want you to strike it over the doorpost and the linen. And when you strike it over there, he said, and you stay in the house. Don't come out. I want to destroy your passes your way. And he looks up on the blood. He'll pass over you. <laughs> Ain't you glad? See, God loves the broken. <laughs> And God can use the broken ones. God can show you the beauty of the broken if you'll let's allow God to do that. See, God still wants to use you. See, if nothing's wrong, you have no testimony to tell what you've come out of. But boy, that you can sit down and tell somebody what you've been through and show them the broken. See, we all love to look pretty and we love to sit down and look okay. But truly inside, ain't none of us okay. We messed up. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm really messed up. We human. The Bible teaches us we really messed up. Oh, I may have a suit on and I got a lot covered up. But I got scars you can't see. Come on, y'all. I got scars you can't see. I've done a good job putting it up this morning, didn't I? I've done a pretty good job coming in here looking pretty good. But oh boy, I got some scars, and I got brokenness that only God knows. God's told you and told you many times, well, you are done. God says, wait a minute. I never throwed you away. I can use you. I can use you. I'm asking you this morning, I don't know who you are, where you are, and I, I know this service didn't go nothing like you thought, and I either. 
but it went exactly like God said it would. I said it went exactly like God said it would. And I don't know this morning what your need is, and I don't know what you're going through, but I can tell you God loves you. And God said you're still colored. You take an old blue crayon and you break it. Well, I sit over at the desk and I cried when I began to read that about the crayons. What well, something so simple. How many crayons have I ever broken in my life? Just broke them. But I got to look at that old crayon box. And he just take and snap that old crayon. I think, boy, that crayon ain't no good. Yes, it is. Take that old blue crayon or whatever your favorite color is, red, purple, whatever. You get that crayon up, and you just put it back to the paper. <laughs> There's something about putting it back to the paper to make a mark. So what you got to do with your life, you got to put it back to the work to make a mark. You got to put it back to the work that God's got planned in your life so you can paint the picture of what you've been through. And at the bottom of that picture that you're painting, you can write down there in big bold letters from a broken crayon. I finished. Are you hear me? I finished. A broken crayon, but I finished. Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith, and I have run my race. But he didn't do it with a whole crayon, Brother Keith. He done it with a broken crayon, but he finished. I got anybody in the house this morning is battling things in your life, and you're thinking it's just bad. It ain't that bad. God still use you. You still painting pictures for somebody else to see your life, what God's done in your life. I read the book every day, and as I read the book, I get a new, I get a new uh, uh, avenue out of the out of the out of the King James book of somebody's life that was broken, and I get a new avenue, and I say, God, how you still used them? See, somewhere down the line, somebody you are somebody's book that they're reading. You're somebody's book. Somebody's watching you, and even in your brokenness, they said you still colored. Even in your brokenness. That's why the Bible says that he'll give us peace that passes all understanding. I don't know how I done it. I don't even don't know how I picked up the crayon and finished the picture. But I'm still working on it. Still working on it. If we stand this morning. But child, I don't know what in the world you're going to sing, brother. You just obey the Lord. Amen. Let's tell me.